I've got nine work from home jobs that are not only easy, but they can also pay really well. And the first one is gonna be a mystery shopper for the company About Face. Do you ever wish you could shop all day and get paid for it? Well, as an online mystery shopper, that dream can be a reality. And About Face is a company that hires people to do that for other companies online. And working for this company is kind of like being a spy on a covert mission. You're gonna test out products, gather information, and then observe and report back your findings, all while remaining anonymous and incognito. And this is a really easy job to start and complete. All you have to do is shop for stuff. You don't even have to use your own money. And then you just give them feedback on your experience. Now, as a full-time mystery shopper, you would expect to make about $45,000 a year. But typically, most people just do this as a side hustle. So the pros of this one are flexibility. You can pretty much do it anytime you want, as little or as much as you want. And there's many websites that you can do this on. About Face is just one example. Another pro is variety. So there's a wide range of different products that you can test out. And this is also a great way to get experience in an industry if you wanna break into it later on. And then another pro is access to freebies. A lot of the time, the products that you buy with the company's money, you get to keep. Some of the cons here are the pay is relatively low. There's also limited availability. So a lot of people who do mystery shopping will use several different companies. And there is a risk of scam. So you have to be very careful which mystery shopping company you go with. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Now the next one on the list is similar, but you're not gonna necessarily be shopping. You're gonna be testing out products. And that's gonna be a product tester for usertesting.com. Now there's a ton of different websites you can do this with. Usertesting.com is just one example. And a product tester is a person who usually tests products before they're even released to the public. Public. So this is kind of like being a taste tester for a chef, but instead of testing food, you get to test products before they hit the market. Now with usertesting.com, you make about $10 per hour. So it's relatively low pay, but this is something that most people just do as a side hustle to make a little bit of extra money. So some of the pros here are you get early access to products before they're released to the public. It's very flexible, so you can do as much or as little as you want, and you may get to keep the product you tested for free. Some of the cons here are product testing doesn't usually pay all that well. The products you're testing may not always be of interest to you. And the testing process can be somewhat tedious and boring. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 6.5 out of 10. The next one on the list might be good for you if you're a master of the tweet, a guru of the gram, or a wizard of the web. And that's a social media manager for peopleperhour.com. So as a social media manager, you get to work from the comfort of your home, creating and scheduling content, responding to comments, and analyzing data to optimize social media performance. And one thing that's great about this career is young people are typically better at this. And that's because of the fact that young people are more familiar with social media content. So a lot of the time in the hiring process, you actually have an advantage over older people. And social media managers make about $51,000 a year. Now, peopleperhour.com specifically is more of a freelancing website, but there are many opportunities to get hired full-time as a social media marketer. But some of the pros for this one are you get to set your own rates and negotiate. You can work from anywhere with an internet connection and being young actually gives you an advantage. Some of the cons of this one are there can be high competition, some clients have unrealistic expectations, and the platform does take a percentage of your commission. Now, social media management is a type of digital marketing, which is something I've talked about many times on this channel, is definitely one of the best careers that you can go into. It doesn't require a college degree, it doesn't require any previous experience, and I've interviewed a bunch of people on the channel that have gotten into digital marketing, and the person that helped them get in is my friend Seth, and he does have a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. You should definitely check it out. But overall, the opportunity score here is going to be an 8 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you've ever been told that you have a soothing or attractive oh, voice. No. And that's a voiceover artist for Voices.com. Now, as a voiceover artist, you might be recording voiceovers for a variety of different types of content. So for instance, you might do television, radio commercials, documentaries, YouTube videos, films, video games, and more. And one thing you might think hmm. is that you have to have a super professional setup in order to be a voiceover artist. But actually, a lot of the time, people who hire voiceover artists for YouTube, for instance, will purposely hire people who have more of a normal setup. And the reason for that is because it seems more authentic. Because if you think about it, a lot of the time, your favorite faceless YouTube channels don't necessarily 
have amazing audio. And as a voiceover artist, you can make as much as $200 to $300 per hour. But more typical ranges, especially when you first start out, are gonna be like $50 to $100 an hour. Now, if you really do wanna get a relatively decent mic, you can start with something like a Blue Yeti, which is $99. But there's actually AI voice cleaning software from companies like Adobe, for instance, that is incredible. Like it can seriously make iPhone earbuds sound like professional equipment. So you definitely do not need a super fancy setup to get started with this. So some of the pros here are there is a wide variety of different job opportunities. You have the ability to work remotely from anywhere in the world, and you have a flexible schedule where you can work on multiple different projects at once. Some of the cons here are the competition can be high, especially when you're first beginning. The platform does take a commission on your earnings, and many of the projects will require more professional equipment. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. What if I told you you could make money by playing video games that haven't even hit the market? I'm sorry, did, did I hear that correctly? Well, that's exactly what you can do with this next job, which is video game tester for a company like playtestcloud.com. Now there's a bunch of different companies that you can do this with. Playtest Cloud tends to focus on mobile application games. And you literally get to play games before they actually make it to the market. And you do this in order to make sure that they don't have any bugs or glitches. And also just to make sure that the game is fun. Now this company has really good reviews online and you make about $9 for a 15 minute test. Now to be honest with you, this is not something you're gonna make a full-time income from. Chances are you're not gonna get enough play tests in order to make a significant amount of money every month. But some people do sign up for several different companies and they are able to make a decent amount. So the pros here are the ability to play test video games before they even hit the market, the opportunity to improve a game, and it can be great experience if you want to get a job in the gaming industry later on in your career. Some of the cons here are you might have to play the same section of a game repeatedly. It often requires working under tight deadlines and you're not always gonna get to play games that you like. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be great for you if you like chatting with people online, but you don't necessarily like talking with them or meeting them in person. And that's gonna be a chat support representative for crowdchat.io. So this is very similar to being a customer support representative, except you don't have to talk to people over the phone. And most of the time you'll be taking inquiries over live chat. Now, a lot of people look down on these types of careers, but they're actually some of the easiest remote jobs you can get to start off. And especially if you're able to land one of these jobs in a good company or in a good industry, it can lead to much better opportunities down the line. Now, crowdchat has really good reviews online and you can make up to $44,000 a year with this job. Now, one thing that really helps is if you have knowledge of the product that you're representing. So some of the pros here are there is a ton of work from home opportunities. You also have access to flexible schedules in many cases, and there is a lot of opportunity for career advancement and growth. Some of the cons are it can be repetitive and monotonous work. Sometimes you'll have to deal with Karens, and it can be mentally exhausting talking to multiple people at once all day long. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score very underrated. The next one on the list might be great for you if you have an mm -hmm. eye for aesthetic design on websites. And that's gonna be a website tester for trimata.com. And Trimata is a company that helps other companies optimize their websites. And as a website tester, you'll be evaluating the usability, functionality, and the overall user experience on these different websites. And you'll also be identifying and reporting different bugs and issues that the website might have. An interesting fact about this is studies have shown that people usually give an impression of what they think of a website in the first 50 milliseconds of seeing it. And this highlights the importance of website testing. You wanna make sure that the user has a good first impression and you make about $10 or more per test. Now this is another one where a lot of the time people will sign up for a bunch of different website testing services because chances are you're not gonna be able to make that much money with just one of them. So some of the pros here are you can work whenever you want, the pay is weekly and you do get decent pay for the work that you do. Some of the cons here are you might not see that many tests. You're probably not gonna make a full-time income income, and it can be somewhat boring. But I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of eight out of 10. Now, the next one on the list is one of the most popular ways to make extra money online. This is one that you see on all kinds of different side hustle forums and website, and it has some of the best reviews. And that's gonna be microtasking, and there's many companies you can do this with. The one I'm gonna talk about today is clickworker.com. And microtasking is the process of breaking down a large job into smaller tasks. And a lot of the times, companies will hire people for this 
when they have a task that needs to be done, but they don't want to hire a full-time person for it or have somebody who's already working for the company do it. So it might be something as simple as just updating a spreadsheet once every week or doing some data entry or editing something that's short. And according to Glassdoor, click workers at click worker can make about $50,000 a year. So some of the pros here are extreme flexibility. You can literally choose to work any time that you want. In many cases, these tasks will only take five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And so you can literally do them on your lunch break or even while you're going to the bathroom. There's also absolutely no formal education required and you have a wide variety of tasks that you can choose from. So in many cases, you might be able to try out a bunch of different types of tasks and choose the one that you like best. And this can help you to choose your career in the future. And you can also get experience in a variety of different industries as well. Some of the cons here are that the payment, especially when you first start, is probably going to be low. Probably also going to take you a while to figure out what tasks pay decently well. The work can also vary depending on the time of year. And because of the low barrier to entry, there can be a lot of competition. But overall, this one has great reviews online. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is another one where it's very easy to start making money online. It's not the most glamorous job in the world, but it's going to be transcription. And there are many companies you can do this with. One of them is Transcribe Me. So basically what you're going to be doing here is listening to audio or video recordings, and then you're going to be turning those into written documents. And this requires excellent listening skills, a strong attention to detail, and the ability to type quickly and accurately. And you can expect to make about $40,000 a year doing this full time. So some of the pros here are this is another very flexible job where you can do it anytime you want and you can work from home or you can work remotely. There's also very low startup costs and there is a variety of work. And chances are what you want to end up doing is specializing in a particular type of transcription. So for instance, you might specialize in legal transcription or medical transcription. Some of the cons here are the work can be incredibly monotonous. There's also relatively high competition and it can cause finger strain when you're typing for long periods of time. But overall, this one is still pretty good. It's underrated and it's a great place to get started if you're just trying to get your first remote job. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you want to check out 13 remote jobs that are almost always hiring, click right here.